Have you ever wondered how sea turtle rehabilitation centers are helping to save and heal sea turtles? My name is Maddie and I'm going to talk to you today about sea turtle rehabilitation. Sea turtles have lived since the Jurassic period. Since then, there's been a drop in their population. It is estimated that since 1984, more than one half of their population has been lost due to the numerous threats that they face. Sea turtle rehabilitation centers are helping to keep sea turtles strong. Here are the main threats to sea turtles, fishing, pollution, predators, and disease. Unfortunately, many of the biggest threats to sea turtles are due to human activity. A disease specific to sea turtles called fibropapillomatosis, or FP, gives sea turtles tumors that appear on their eyes, shell, and flippers, and the cause is still unknown. Scientists and researchers think that it may have a multifactorial cause. This means that FP may have many causes. Pollution is also a threat to sea turtles, who can mistake a plastic bag for one of their favorite foods, jellyfish. Predators are also part of the threat to sea turtles. Seagulls, crabs, and raccoons are common predators of sea turtle hatchlings while they are still on land, while adult and juvenile sea turtles are more prone to large sharks like the great white. And in fact, approximately 40% of the threats to sea turtles is predator attacks. Treatments for fibropapillomatosis, boat hits, and predator, predator attacks include laser surgery and applying honey and bandages to wounds. If a sea turtle swallows a fish, fishing hook, surgery may have to be done to get it out. Usually, the hook can be found in the three most common parts of the sea turtle's body, the stomach, throat, and digestive system. And, sea turtles, uh, and if a sea turtle swallows a fishing hook, it can also damage their, di their vital organs. How are sea turtle rehabilitation centers helping to keep these beautiful creatures safe? Centers educate the public, rescue and, re rescue and heal sea turtles, and release sea turtles back into the wild, and encourage people to use turtle excluder devices or TEDs like this one. TEDs are metal grates and fishing nets so that sea turtles who are accidentally captured can escape safely. This help helps decrease the risk of the sea turtles drowning and having their circulation cut off by the net. Imagine that sea turtles lay an average of 110 eggs each nesting season, and only one survives till adulthood due to the threats that they face. Sea turtle rehabilitation centers work to raise sea turtle survival rates in the wild. For example, they protect and reserve private beaches for sea turtle nesting, and work their hardest to make impacts on sea turtles' lives. Sea turtles make a big difference to our world. They help seagrass by trimming the seagrass, and they help coral reefs by remo removing sponges from the reefs. In addition, they also keep the marine food chain balanced. In a world without sea turtles, the marine ecosystems would be weakened because sea turtles are a food source to other animals. The earth and its oceans wouldn't be the same. Fortunately, America's sea turtle rehabilitation centers are working hard to protect these animals. Most rehab centers are near beaches and sea turtles' habitats. Rescues could be done more quickly this way so more sea turtles can be found and rescued more easily. This way, Sea turtles' injuries are less likely to cause very serious harm or to be fatal. The Gumbo Limbo Nature Center has a rescue release policy. This means that they rescue sea turtles, heal them, and release them back into the wild. If a sea turtle is too badly injured to continue by themselves in the ocean, then it will become a, sea a permanent resident of a sea turtle rehabilitation center, although it is hoped that they will be strong enough to continue in the wild. And yes, we are the main threats to sea turtles, but we can also help to save them because we have enough power to help. You could do what sea turtle rehabilitation centers are doing. You have the chance to save a life, and I think that that's kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. So what I'm trying to say is you can help. You can volunteer at rehab centers, reduce, reuse, and recycle, stay alert when boating, and share what you know about sea turtles with the public. Sea turtles need our help to survive, and without our help, these ancient creatures that have been alive for millions of years will all become endangered or worse. If we take action now, we can help to raise their survival rates in the wild because their futures depend on us. Consider doing something to help these beautiful creatures live safely in their environment. After all, much of the struggles they encounter are the result of human actions. For more information on sea turtle rehabilitation, you can visit my blog with the QR code below. Thank you for watching my capstone TED Talk presentation and have a good day.